Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your Twin Flame reading. What does the Divine Masculine want to tell the Divine Feminine? So, I'll just place my beautiful selenite crystal here that I have. I love this crystal. Amazing to give us some clarity. Um, if you are after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. And thank you for those of you who have subscribed. If you haven't, please go ahead and do so now. Okay, guys, let's get started. What does the Divine Masculine want to tell the feminine today? So the first card you have here is show the world the real you. Some of the masculines may be an air sign, could be Aquarius, um, Libra or Gemini energy here. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, but as you can see, this is an Aquarian energy. So it's a full moon in Aquarius as well. This card is also saying show the world the real you. So the divine masculine is coming out of his shell. Some of the divine masculines have been in darkness. They've been in solitude here. They've been spending time away from their feminine. They want to get out of that darkness, you know, let go of the negativity and to come back and to pour their heart, heart out, okay? The Divine Feminine may have turned her back on the Masculine as well because she has poured all her emotions and she's feeling empty. She's running on empty, okay? And she knows that she's um, filling up her own cup here or she needs to. But the Divine Masculine wants to help her fill that cup as well, okay? So he wants to give her, you know, the love that she deserves and that she needs. So he wants to... Um, communicate. He wants to breathe air back into this relationship. That's what I just heard. Okay, the next card. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, some of the Divine Masculines, yeah, definitely wanting to come back and make that first move. All right, so um, I just want to get the second card. Okay, don't let your past hold you back. All right, I want to put these two together. They've just told me to put them together. So what these cards mean is that the Divine Masculine is asking the Feminine, please don't allow what's happened in the past to hold you back from making that first move in coming back, in communicating with me, in reconciling. Okay, so yes, there's been hurt in the past that's related to love because green is the heart chakra. I, I'm sorry if I've hurt you, Divine Feminine. I'm sorry if I've been cold, distant. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't communicated um, or I'm sorry for the words that I have spoken. Take it how it resonates. But I feel that the Divine Masculine is saying here, you know, I, I want to move forward. I'm, I'm seeing things more clearly um, and I don't want the past to define me or my actions. You know, I, I want to move forward in this connection. Okay. What's the next card from the Magical Messages from the Fairies? Marriage. Some of the Divine Masculines want to propose marriage. Okay, they're coming back. They've really thought long and hard about this connection and how they feel. And they just want to live in a blissful marriage with their Divine Feminine. So they will be coming back to propose. For other Divine Masculines, they may currently be in a marriage, a commitment. Okay, this is karmic energy. And this could definitely be causing that blockage that they have um, moving forward with their Divine Feminine. Again, take it how it applies. But orange... Um, is the color of the sacral chakra. So I feel that your divine masculine is really trusting his gut in this situation. He is intuitive. He's saying, um, I, I'm not blinded by what is happening, you know, around me. I do want to move forward with my feminine. Okay. But for some, they're stuck in a marriage or they're stuck in a commitment here that they're working their way through leaving um, and ending. The next card is summer. So by summertime or the end of summer, um, there will be a resolution here with regards to this marriage or, you know, coming together and reconciling with the feminine. Okay, but I feel that there may be some truth that will come out in summertime. For you guys overseas, that will be right now. For us in Australia, that will be uh, the start of December. So I feel that this will bring some healing and because it is a green card, I feel that it will give um, the truth will help the Divine Feminine understand what the Divine Masculine has been going through, what he's been experiencing, the way, the reasons why he's done things the way he has, the reasons why he's been, you know, perhaps cold, okay? The Unicorn cards, we've got teamwork. Your Divine Masculine is saying to you, Divine Feminine, that 
he knows that the two of you make an, an amazing team. Okay, and he sees that you both work well together, you both have the same thoughts, the same interests, the same motivation, you do mirror each other. And yeah, he understands the connection, how deep it is. And um, yeah, he's agreeing here that you do make a great team. The Divine Masculine is saying to the Divine Feminine here, I am listening to my feelings. I'm listening to what, you know, um, my gut and my heart are telling me. Okay, please Divine Feminine, don't feel that I am listening to what other people are telling me about my karmic or about my, you know, my current or past actions. I know what I truly feel and my heart is telling me it's you, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, I want you to also get in touch with your heart and to listen to what you feel because I know that our hearts are in alignment with each other. Okay, I trust what I feel and I know it's you and our connection and forming a union. The butterfly angels are changing your mind. Some of the divine masculines have been in a bit of a uh, emotional turmoil here, really battling with their being, battling with their mind. Perhaps there has been um, some intervention from a karmic. Perhaps there has been some, you know, someone getting involved with the masculine. It could be a friend also. Um, but I'm picking up here that your divine masculine is still listening to what he's feeling. He's not allowing others to get in his head. Okay. This may come across that he's been changing his mind. He's chopping and changing, going to the feminine, going back to the karmic. Um, but I feel that deep down the divine masculine knows what he wants. He's also been working and concentrating on his finances. Sorry about this glare guys. I'm doing the best to, um, keep it. So you can see it there. Finances. So yes, for some of the divine masculines, there's going to be some changes happening within their finances. Some may be coming into money. Others are struggling. So there will be a change within a job. There, there will be change within a business perhaps. But I feel that some of the divine masculines, yeah, um, are struggling with money. For others, they're doing their best to build their portfolio and to build a future. For some, they're spending a lot of money on legalities here, connected to karmics, child custody, um, and so forth. Okay, the next two cards are from the Angel Therapy. Heal away addictions. Yeah, some of the Divine Masculines have definitely been struggling with um, not only emotions, but Addictive behavior here, and this can also relate to sexual behavior. Some of the divine masculines have an addiction to sex, and this is, you know, something that has really affected them in the past, um, especially with having multiple um, partners here, okay? But this is something that they're working through and healing. They want to commit. They want to move forward and commit, okay? Some of the other masculines are healing away addictions related to alcohol, drug abuse. Um, it can also be just unhealthy, unhealthy habits here. Okay, so they're acknowledging this and they're asking help um, for this. Some of the Divine Masculine are seeking, you know, uh, professional help, counselling, um, psychology, also um, hypnotherapy for some as well to just get rid of all this toxic um, toxicity within their being. Okay, some of the masculines may be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could also be the feminine. There's a lot of water in this card. I feel that when the masculine starts working on clearing himself of this negative energy, you know, these sexual tendencies, all of these addictions, they start to feel lighter within their being. Um, and for a lot of them, they're pouring their heart out here. They're pouring out their emotions. And it is um, a form of release for them. The next angel therapy card is goddess. Look, the divine masculine is saying here, you are my goddess, um, my divine feminine. You have a beautiful goddess energy. I love your energy. You light up my world. When I think about you, I smile um, and I see you as my goddess. I'm constantly thinking about you and I love how you express your divine feminine energy towards me. I love how you uh, light and I love how you exude that love as well, that unconditional love, even at times when perhaps, um, you know, I have been harsh towards you. But I love, I love the magic that surrounds you. All right, for 
of the romance angels worth waiting for. Your divine masculine is not going anywhere. He is he's waiting for you. He wants to commit. He wants to um he sees his future with you, divine feminine. Okay? So he is working through all of these healing these addictions, uh healing the past, you know, working on revealing him true his true self here and he's saying here um all this hard work, it's going to be worth the wait. And I can't wait to be in your arms, Divine Feminine. Trust me, Divine Feminine. Trust me that I am doing the best I can to work on myself, to clear myself, to get rid of all this toxicity that surrounds me, that's within me. Just trust in me. Trust that my heart is, is, um, is yours. The next card is chemistry. Yes, your Divine Masculine. He has not experienced the chemistry like he has with you. This is the strongest magnetic attraction here, just like the card says. Um, this chemistry is just beyond anything else that the divine masculine has ever experienced with anyone. doesn't matter how many other people, soulmates come into his life. The twin is the one that he has the most powerful chemistry and energy with. The last card is deception. So the divine masculine is saying here, I'm sorry if you feel that I've, you know, not been able to um, embrace this connection the way you've expected, uh, divine feminine. I, I apologize if you feel that I've worn a mask because I haven't been able to, you know, show you the real me. Um, so some of the feminines may be feeling deceived here, okay? Or some of the masculines may be feeling deceived. It's vice versa. Perhaps the feminine has turned her back on the masculine, like this one is in this card. She wants to, you know, walk away from him, but he's saying, please don't leave me. Um, even though, look, he's being weighed down by a karmic here. Okay, but the divine feminine has said, you know what, um, I need to move away because I feel um, this is a toxic connection that you have with a karmic. So I am moving forward and I'm going to go and work on myself and healing myself from this because this is too toxic. So again, take it how it applies to your current situation. But the divine masculine is saying here, he's understanding that for some of the divine feminines, they have felt like their masculine has deceived them. Okay. Um, but they're saying again, trust me, feminine, trust me that I, um, that I only have your best interests at heart, that I do love you, that I do care for you. Even if I have struggled with showing you um, how I truly feel, um, but yeah, I am working on healing. Okay, so the number for the divine masculine to the feminine is a six and a six. You guys are twins. Look, these numbers match. Okay, six and six. For some of you, yes, definitely December. As I said, summertime, there will be a change in direction. There will be a new start. Um, December can be symbolic for some of you. One and two is three, which is the month of March. So March could be symbolic for you also. Twelve could be a lucky number. Um, it can involve, look, that's a lot of people, but 12 people, um, six and six, perhaps again, take it how it applies. So guys, if you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angelighthealingitoutlook.com. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button and like, and share my videos and many angel blessings to you all. Thanks guys.